Well, we're back after it this afternoon. It's been raining like hell for I don't know how long since Thursday. So uh, I'm gonna try to uh, video all I can, but if it gets too wet, then uh, I'm gonna put the camera away. But uh, we're back at the standing beans here, so hopefully we can get up here and get settled in and maybe at a uh, big four year old that we seen last time up here will step out but I don't know we uh, will see and uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty good outing here so I'm gonna get to it it's a little bit after three and it's probably gonna be raining off and on all rest of the evening so uh, if it gets too wet then I'm going to put the camera up and not chance of uh, running any of my video equipment here so uh, keep fingers crossed and we'll see what happens well we uh, made it back to the spot here it's uh now getting 3.30 uh, I come set in this tree now here where all the deer was coming to so uh, the wind has picked up a lot but uh, that's okay if it uh, keeps rain it, uh, hopefully the deer will get up on their feet. There's a lot of uh, patches of green grass. It's in this uh, soybean field. So uh, if you remember, I was set up that way, and all the deer got spooked. heading right for this bottom here. So, all the deer was coming from here. See how to jerk out the old poncho. <laughs> it uh, started raining like hell there for a minute, but the wind's still blowing, so I still ain't. Uh, I went 
this morning, but I had a scope failure on my crossbow, so I had to wait for uh, Killer Instinct to send me one. Which they did, and I got in pretty quick. So I figure I might as well put it to good use. So it come real handy to this, this evening. But we'll see you on the next trip. 